Hi children, good morning all of you. Welcome you all to the fourth video of our unit 4, the story of Ikkad. So today we, ha we shall have the textbook exercises of the lesson, the story of Ikkad. So let us go into the comprehension first. So children look at the comprehension questions given over here. What is the main theme of the story? How is Chitki Rumal used by different people? The teacher became silent when she was discussing handloom. Why? Children's attention was divided between her words and fabrics as she opened silk patola sari. Why? The writer described some designs, historical things and the weaving. Which part of the story do you like the most? So these questions. So here are the answers for these questions. Just read them thoroughly and write them in your notebook so all the answers for these questions are given over here try read them thoroughly and then write them once in your notebook okay now let us look into the next exercise that is the vocabulary now read the following sentences vvs lakshman is a top class batsman shruti is in class 8 we have 10 minutes left for the show the minutes of every official meeting remain an important document. So the words underlined in the above sentences have the same spelling but they differ in meaning. So when any words which have the same spelling and the same pronunciation but they have different meaning such words are called as homographs. Now look at the words given below. Fair. F-A-I-R one is in the form of adjective and the other F-A-I-R fair is a noun. They have different meanings. Similarly mind one is a noun and the other one is a verb. And the same way quiet is an adjective and quiet is also a noun. So both are used in different meanings. Now let us see the meanings of these words. See here, fair, when it is an adjective, it means acceptable and appropriate in a particular situation or it is also the meaning like light colored. Now, when fair is a noun, the meaning of it is a large public event where goods are bought and sold or you can say that it is an exhibition. Next, mind, when it is a noun, what is the meaning of it? A part of a person that makes them able to aware of things to think and feel okay a part of a person that is mind our mind what we have next mind as verb to be upset or annoyed or worried by something now quiet as adjective making very little noise quiet as noun the state of being calm without much noise now these words when we use it in the form of a sentence so how will you use it? Fair as adjective. She has got a fair complexion. And fair as noun. I attended a science fair yesterday. Mind. My mind is always open to new ideas. When you use mind as verb, it is I hope you don't mind the noise. When you use quiet as adjective, the teacher asks the students to be quiet. And quiet as noun, a machine gun shattered the quiet. So similarly you can make different sentences like this. I have written this. All this exercise also you have to write it in your notebook. The vocabulary, the first, the meanings of it and also making of sentences. If you want you can write in any sentence of your own also. Okay. Now let us look into the next exercise. So read the sentence for following sentences. The students have some knowledge about Ikkat. This sum from chapter 3 is very tough now look at the underlined words now what uh, what is the underlined word in the first sentence s o m e how do you pronounce it sum and look at the underlined word in the second sentence s u m sum both are pronounced in the same way so the pr same pronunciation both have the same pronunciation but they are different in spellings and they are different in meanings so such words which have the different spellings and different in meaning, they are called as homophones. Previously, you have seen 
the pronunciation is same and even the spelling also is same so such words are called as homographs understood but these when they differ in they differ in meaning and these also differ in meaning but they differ in spelling too so these are called as homophones understood children now here is a passage given uh, which we have to write the correct uh, replace the correct homophone so the wrong words are given you have to replace it with the correct homophone now look at the passage one day janki teacher said to the class we all know that the boy in the blue dress has won the best student prize for this year so here the underlined word no what is the homophone for it what should be over here k and bo w okay so now you have to write down like this the correct word of the homophone so you write this passage as your assignment so today you have uh, the comprehension questions and as well as uh, the vocabulary the homographs using it in sentences and also this passage okay all these three romans you have to write it as assignment okay and here b l e w blue what is the homophone for it b l u e blue and o n e one it is w o n one p r i c e it is p r i z e okay then similarly she added this is the right r to felicitate him so right here w r i t e instead of it you have to write down r i g h t understood now here is a gift for the boy but can anyone help me to unite the knot n o t knot instead of that you have to write k n o t so what is the homonym uh, of uh, homophones for knot it is k n o t next of the dyed ribbon d i e d dyed so what is a homone homophone for uh, d i e d it is d y e d dyed okay so one boy came forward and helped her there was a wonderful gift inside the box so these are the homophones so rewrite this passage with the correct homophone and do the assignment so this is uh, your uh, textbook exercises for today and in the next class we shall uh, deal with the direct and indirect speech that is the reported speech and about the grammar and you need to learn about the rules and regulations for it and then we'll go into the textbook exercises of the reported speech okay children till then stay tuned bye